Hey, I'm Ron Drodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to day 19 of our 31 day Rock Piano for Beginners Workout Challenge. And uh, by the way, you may hear the rumblings of my dishwasher, which is in the next room, which was put on about an hour ago. Um, and I'm just gonna make the video, you probably can't really hear it, but you might hear a beep at one point if it goes off. But the point is that life is around us, right? We do things, we work, we have families, we have friends, we, um, we do everything. And music has to, we have to find a way for music to fit into that life. Um, and become part of it. And if that doesn't happen, we tend not to stay with it. That's why a lot of times when people um, say, okay, well, I'm gonna really buckle down and practice now, and I'm gonna do three hours a day. That's great, if you can do that, and I've done that at certain types of times in my life. Right now, I do not have three hours a day to sit down and just practice myself. I get my practice through, I, I do that sometimes, or I try to get a half hour here, 15 minutes there, but I get my practice right now. I get my practice when I play, when I teach lessons and we go back and forth with training fours or something. I get my practice on gigs. I get my practice when I'm making videos, when I'm preparing for projects. I remember when I was um, uh, about, what, 24 years old, I went to a jazz and world music weekend at Wesleyan University in Connecticut. It was wonderful. And I remember my piano teacher at the time, Billy Taylor. <coughs> I studied with him in the summer, <coughs> excuse me, and I didn't see him that much throughout the year, but I'd go to events he was at and we'd hook up. So I remember we were having lunch together in the cafeteria and then he had, you know, there was like an hour before the next class or whatever. And uh, he goes, oh, um, he goes, well, you know, I'm gonna go practice now and just play because I never get it. He said he never got a chance to just sit down at the piano and play really that much anymore at his age and, and with his busy lifestyle. And I remember he let me tag along and I got to sit right next to him while he just practiced and played for about an hour. It was great. But that's the point. Life is here. So you have to make sure that even if it's 10 minutes in the morning before you go to work or an hour in the afternoon or whatever it is, that you do, um, you make sure your music is integrated into your life so it's a part of one thing. It's not just separate. That's the mistake a lot of people make and they can't sustain it. So we're uh, 20 minutes, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna um, sort of, uh, what's the word, codify or just luxuriate in everything we know with the D blues scale. We've been working on some specific stuff in the last couple of days, so we're gonna go broad and general and just jam together today. I'm gonna tell you what chord progression I'm playing, and then you listen to the groove, and you, um, uh, you can play your left hand, you can play the right, you can improvise, you can play chords on the right, anything you want. And then maybe we'll trade back and forth or things like that. So uh, this will be the last day that we're exclusively focused on the D blues scale. So congratulations, you know the A blues scale and the D blues scale. And tomorrow we're gonna start the E blues scale, which has the same shape as these two. But see, I was a little sneaky with that. I knew it would be easy to learn these other two once we knew A so well. E is going to be a piece of cake because it looks the same on the piano as the D and the A, except you start on E. And um, we'll look at some songs that have that in it. So we're just going to start with um, a D in the left hand and a D blues scale. And I'm going to, let's call this D minor. So if you want, you can play a D minor chord in either hand, or you can just play a root note like I'm going to do and improvise. I might play a couple of the chords here and there just to give us that tonality. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, three, you can improvise or whatever. Remember this from yesterday, that bass line? And that comes from 
um, the old time like um, uh, field songs and the blues and church music and it's there's a call and a response call call response so sometimes it's fun to play something like that and then it, it builds repetition so we don't feel like we always have to do something new all right so we could do the same thing with a d major chord and that, um, we could still use the blues scale, because then we have a minor kind of blues scale against the major, and that, that's part of the blues, as we know. So here's the major D, D major. One, two, here we go. yesterday and um, one of the stations I have on the radio is WKCR FM there uh, Columbia University uh, it's one uh, 90 was it? Ooh, I can't remember 98 point I can't believe I can't remember it right now 98.9 anyway WKCR FM known this for 40 years but uh, blanking right now but in any case um, they play programming like they'll have Indian music, Indian classical music, and then country, and then jazz, and then Bach, and then they have everything. It's amazing. And um, they were playing, it must have been like blues hour or something like that. And they played, it sounded like a contemporary songwriter, blues artist. I didn't know who it was, and they didn't really say. I just heard two songs. And, uh, but it was, it was a, a, a woman singing, and it was a, sort of a cross or a combination between folk music and blues on the guitar, and there was two guitars. I think that might have been just it, a rhythm guitar and someone playing lead and maybe some slide. But it was just what we're doing here. So um, let's play the chord progression of the song I heard. So um, the first, it's only eight measures long, the chorus at least was, and it goes um, D, D, then G. And then the same thing, but D, D, A, D. So it's D, D, G, D, 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 A, D. If D is the one chord, G is the four, A is the five, what are the numbers? We have one, D, one, then G is what? Four, one, and then one, one, A, five, so let's do that. You just hold down the right hand or play along with the bass too. One, two, three. And the groove was like this. D. so much rock like Bob Dylan and all that and the Eagles uh, with a little blues element so the guitarist was doing just what we we're doing playing um, the blues scale and I thought whoever that guitarist was they weren't trying to show off they weren't trying to out Jimmy Page Jimmy Page they were just having fun and that's what we're doing right so you can improvise on this or you can play actually let's start well you can do whatever you want that's what we're here for today doing anything you want chords bass line Soloing any of the above. One, two, three, four.
E A, just because it's in the same position that the D is, it's, in, it's around there, and I, you could also go D root position, and then just go to G by keeping the D the same and going D, G, B. But the point is, um, inversions, if you're just starting with them, they hold you back because you can't just play. You're thinking about it, right? And you have to stop. So if you want to um, use the inversions, make sure that you can do them without stumbling. Otherwise, just play root position because this is all about playing in tempo, and that, that's not a big deal. That's not a, that's not a, that shouldn't be something that holds you back from having fun, that you have to think about the inversions. And then later on, after this video, sit down and just drill. Play between D and the uh, second inversion G chord a hundred times. You know, that's when you drill. That's what they used to call going out to the woodshed with your saxophone or something so no one can hear you just drilling. Now you can do that with a keyboard, right? You can take a key, battery-operated keyboard to the woodshed <laughs> if we have one. All right, let's um, let's go to um, the uh, comfortably numb chord progression. So we have D, then C, B flat, G minor, D minor, D, C, B flat. Start soloing, play the chords. Conversation, right? That's the thing. So, um, you know, when I play, listen to that. You can either do something similar or something very different. You know, if somebody plays fast, sometimes it's kind of fun to just play really slow, right? Be contrasting. Have confidence in that. I was thinking as I was playing it, my effort used to be to play really well. You know, I wanted to play something great. And I think that can be okay sometimes, you know, because if it helps you, if it actually works. <laughs> but I found after a while it was holding me back. And what I started doing was trying to find that connection between whatever music's inside me. So if it's, you know, okay, where's that going? Often it comes out so much better because it's not stiff. You know, when you're trying to play great, sometimes it's stiff. But then other times, if you know it works, do it, right? Um, let's go to a 12-bar blues now and just play the chords and whatever you want in the left hand. 
One, two, a D, two, three, four. to get lost doing this a lot so don't worry if that happens to you we're gonna trade fours trade four measures each so the blues has three lines of four right D for the first line then the second one is G back to D and then a G D so I'm gonna play the first four you play the second then I play the third four starting on a then for the next time around the next chorus you start I play the middle you start so it shifts because it's a 12 bar blues, three phrases. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Let's see how it goes. And you can play the chords the whole time or, or not. One, two, I'll start soloing.
one, we're gonna play the rhythm in the right hand with the chords using a Charleston rhythm, like trumpets. Ba, ba. One, two, anything you want in the left. challenge. Boy, amazing. Have fun. There's a couple of links for you to click if you're interested and get notifications for videos and some other fun stuff. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.